Hello everyone, this is Danish and I'm always happy to share any type of success um, related through you know either jobscratchair.org or any from any even a conversation and if people are getting benefit out of or experience or maybe just by telling them some information then I'm happy to share that and I usually ask anyone that kind of land jobs or things like that I tell them that hey I'm gonna remove all your personal stuff but I want to share that success because it's it's very important for other people so number one I want I want to congrats this member I'm not gonna say the name so it says thank you so much for everything I got my dream job because of the security associated with this position I can't say where it is but your courses gave me the confidence and the edge to impress my boss enough to get the position IT support specialist IT specialist no more contracts this is a full-time position I will continue you I will continue using this platform to stay current again thank you so I want to say thank you for sharing this information and I asked this member to please share your interview questions so I'm waiting on that I hope they do that and I'll share that with you also all the members so great number second this is another uh, user I asked your advice for the first round of interviews for help desk positions you helped me you, you helped give me a boost of confidence this week. I'm interviewing for a data center technician position so that I can broaden my horizons. Uh, I have been a SharePoint developer for four years. Do you have any info you could share with me to help me with my interview? Thank you. I appreciate it. So I said, okay, hey, how are you? Uh, do you have a summary of the job? I will be able to better assist you because I really need to know what kind of environment it is or what kind of requirements they are putting in the job because sometimes it could be very specific and they could be really uh, hard on some things and sometimes it's just normal so I wanted to see that so uh, information was shared so I was like okay first they will focus on ticketing system because uh, they are stressing that in here so okay so you see even if it's a data center position a lot of people doesn't matter if you're a system admin or you're a, you, you're an IT support specialist or you're a security guy whatever you are in IT ticketing system is the most important thing because everybody wants to know can you do that because if you don't then it's going to be hard for someone to just take you because they have to teach you everything from scratch and they know that you have not worked in an environment where people are using ticketing system or you have no knowledge about it because this is something that programmers hate or some other IT people hate if somebody just come walk to you and say hey can you do this work for me and the person is already working on a lot of things especially programmers don't like that you know so yes they would definitely want to know about that so they say hey yeah I know about Maximo and Remedy Remedy is pretty known so this person knows what they're talking about ticketing system is out of the way secondly do you know how to install managed servers windows 8 2012 yes i do great that's just another plus point right there great then you should be able to answer basic questions uh about networking uh okay so the member say i don't have a ccna but i'm preparing for it i'm saying okay basic router switch configs so you say yes okay so if you know the basics about you know just opening a router or going inside the router and knowing what's in the router maybe if somebody asks you for the config file can you can you copy that and give it to them uh if they're working on you know or maybe replacing another router with an old router these are some basic tasks you're not uh, I'm not saying that you should be doing as a for these type of jobs you shouldn't be creating uh, you know networking and creating networking between routers you're not supposed to do that as a system admin or data center technician usually that's not your job mostly it's a networking guys if they label the right I mean if they put a system admin and they want you to do this that's just labeling is not right so can't say anything about that okay so they say just go or some videos so I sent some videos about configs and you know they went through they might ask you to configure router or switch also they will ask okay this is an important one also they may ask you uh, uh, about racking the servers because if you're a data center technician you know this is something they're gonna ask you because you're a little bit different than just a normal server guy now here now or normal IT because you may be working on racking and taking the server out of the rack, putting it back and all that kind of stuff just once in a while. But if you are a data center technician, you work in a data center. These are a lot of racking going on right there. So they will want to ask you um, that you know this stuff because that's something not available outside that much. So, so I'll say, okay. So what happened? Look, let me send you my blog of interview. This is the blog that I sent and this is where a lot of people shared their interview questions and I keep compiling these interview questions and this person 
did the same thing and I'm asking everybody to give me your interview questions because the next person comes in they have more interview questions to play around with so this way I shared that and after that great let me know this is a conversation going we'll do okay hey hi I got the job I start in February um, you know that's the word we use uh, for um, God willing so say thank you for your help Woo! as so I say great job done you know if you remember I would like to know the interview question uh, so I can put a blog on the in, uh, on a video and uh, you know uh, I don't share any personal info as I'm doing it right now so they say okay share I'll do uh, this is all I could remember what is your day-to-day -day at your current job what do you uh, how do you handle challenges in a work environment are you familiar with putty see these are the tools that we have used in our videos and we even use different videos so if you knew this if you have watched those videos and courses you would be able to answer both I can use putty and I can use another external or whatever tool that you have used so this way you can start the conversation like an IT person so this person say hey you know okay this person knows about putty this this guy or girl probably knows something you know running commands basic stuff you know do you know how to run a command are you familiar with raid 1510 now this is a little bit advanced for somebody who wants to be a server admin a lot of help desk, help desk guys will not know this because you don't deal with rating and stuff like that unless you work for a server help desk that's a different story so you should know this I and mean, go to YouTube uh, or you know take one of our content provider courses which is like based on um, certification so they they kind of go over the theory and stuff behind it, all that stuff over here um, what's one resource you would ex uh, accept to use if you have any issues as said a co-worker and see yes okay so co-worker will be the first person you would ask you know if you have any issues what is VPN we have a full video on that I mean VPN is keep coming again and again I have so many um, testimonials that I've shared VPN is very important right here okay any experience with rack configuration going back to the conversation right here uh, I, I, I talked about racking and now here you go um, the interview uh, person asked about rack, um, racking the stuff over here, which is really cool. You know, I, just, I was just really happy that, that at least few few questions just went right on the dot. You know, so uh, what is a typical first step to recognize in connection issue? Then check power plug, and this is like a basic person. I mean, this person already knew some of the stuff. So, uh, and if you if you don't know these type of basic questions, then you have to go back to our courses, take IT fundamental course, because that is where you're going to learn this stuff, like basics. Basic as in like, what's the process of troubleshooting? What is this? What is that? What is the theory behind this? All that. And then when you need to learn about, when you, when you are able to answer questions related to technical stuff, like using tools in your interview, then that's going to be putty, the things that we have done in help this courses, and that's going to really, really help. But this conversation went a little bit, little bit different. And this is where I'm going to tell you something very strange. Okay, awesome. This is great info and the great when I was like talking about it, right? So just an update. A couple of days ago, I got a call from the hiring manager and uh, he said, I may be a little bit too... I may be a little bit too qualified for the data tech position and instead offer me a network engineer position we went over the role requirements and I had an informal interview yesterday today they sent me an official offer to the role okay and this person is saying this is unauthorized but but I'm glad that it, it was brought up to me confidence during the interview was really important confidence during the interview was really important is really important when I answer my interview questions, I try to come across genuine and answer genuine and assuring with my answer. I mean, I'm probably not pronouncing this right. This is what my this is what the hiring manager said stuck out of him. Guys, one of the thing or anyone that's watching my my videos, one of the things that I want to tell you something very clear, as I mentioned this so many times, there's nothing in IT that can stop you from jumping like crazy okay so many people can spend six years in a help desk and they will be doing the same thing same cycle same process every single day and because of the confidence because they not, they're not taking that step they will be doing that in the next 12 years and they still won't be able to move up so you will have to have this confidence because here things are proving again and again somebody's jumping 30k thousand I mean I made another testimonial right before this one 30,000 in just one year in just six months 30k jump is a big jump and here you see in just a day or two a whole title is being changed 
even they know that this person is not you know not came for this they they don't even have a clue about this but they're saying that maybe this person is all qualified because this person can actually take care of the network engineer position which is kind of maybe for them it's more important and this person because of the confidence because of the things that they have said in the interview seems to be a learning person they can learn this so this is why I said IT is so unpredictable that you can go in there, you don't have to come up with this mentality that I have to spend 10 years, 2 years, 3 years, 4 years to get to one title. It is always an opportunity in there because there's so much is going on in IT and, and there's no pathway set for you to that. You have to spend 2 years to become a system admin. You have to spend 5 years to become a network engineer. Here's a perfect example for you. And again, it's going to come to one thing, two things. You're going to either watch this video and say, you know what, I don't believe this. My friend told me this and I'm not going to believe this. Or you're going to be like, wow, things are happening over here. I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to land my jobs and give my give my resume to a lot of people right there. And, and at the interview, when they offer me, if they have any other things open, I may be able to jump even more. So think about that. This is reality. People are living the reality right now. And you could be one of these people. Thank you so much. And I hope this video uh, gives you some type of confidence. What I, will, what I will do is I'll make a copy of these questions also. And I'll put it on our uh, library for questions. Like, you know, if you go to the help desk entry level to specialist position uh, course. I don't know why I'm messing up words today. For some reason, I'm just messing up. Okay, so you just go to the course. And then here, you'll click on IT career related questions. You'll click on this link. And in here you will see the bank of questions from our successful interviews from our people that are sh coming back and giving back to the community they came in and shared all of this and I'm going to sh add all these other questions over here and hopefully the other person will also send their uh, questions and we'll add it over here thank you